all baseball fans and welcome a great night for baseball ahead on the show it's the Boston Red Sox going up against the Kansas City Royals first pitch coming at you right after the break just about set to go down now the starting pitcher in this one Seth Lugo tell us about him in that sub three ERA singing well anytime you can keep your ERA under three you're doing a lot of things right and you're putting your team in a position to win a lot of ball games as well and he's doing tremendous out there on the mound every time he gets the ball you expect him to go out there and dominate and that's what he's been to this point we'll see how he is today now a chance for Jaron Duran. And that's in the dirt. And a foul ball. Left hand hitter waits. And a swing and a miss. And one out now. Now yeah, there's a small sigh of relief right there. I mean, just to keep that speed off the base pass, it's not just the pitcher. It's other guys that have to think about it from your infielders, have to think about that runner potentially stealing, but also be in position to make a play. As an outfielder, you're thinking about a base hit to the outfield. I got to get to it quickly to try to keep this guy from taking an extra base. So I think everyone just a little more relaxed that he didn't reach base. I got the bat going too soon and strike two. two Lugo. He gets a lot of swing and miss, and he keeps the ball in the yard, not to mention the fact not too many hits either. Three. And down on strikes he goes, and there's two down. Well, anytime you can punch out the top two guys in a lineup to start an inning, got to be feeling pretty good out there on the mound because when you think of just having a distraction, table setters on the base paths, and all of a sudden you're dealing with the number three hitter, any distraction can cause you to serve up a cookie, and instead of it being a solo two shot, ball, it's a two or three run homer. Next three offering ball, way off the plate. Even some of the best guys in the sport are going to give up home runs from time to time, and he's an exception. Yeah, and even with those home runs, if you're throwing strikes and keeping base runners off the paths, then those home runs are solo shots. But to this point, he hasn't had to worry about it. And a big swing and a miss. Two. You look at what the elite pitchers do. They strike guys out, they limit walks, and they limit the ball going out of the park. Fastball right back to the mound. Tosses the first. Red Sox go one, two, three. Nothing doing for Boston. The Royals will get their chance now in a scoreless ball game. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Back here at Kauffman Stadium, and today's starter, Brian Bayo. And singing, we were talking earlier about how he's doing a great job navigating through tough spots. I've just been so impressed with when it seems like there's more pressure. He's more calm and settles in. He's done an incredible job with runners in scoring position. Most guys, they get a little tight. They start to aim the baseball. But for some reason, he gets looser. The ball comes out of his hand with more life. And he's able to wiggle off the hook of the tough situations and get his team back in the dugout. And a base hit. So a man on base to start the inning. That's your shot. Now here's Bobby Witt Jr. Pick off move to first, and they got him. <laughs> so much for their first hit right there. Good move, and he had him leaning all the way. One down, base is empty. Swing, and this one's bounced to the ground. Durant tosses to first, and Witt is out. Batting third. And here now, the lineup for the Royals. The sluggers in this lineup might not be too happy about the fact that the wind is blowing in today, Chris. 
Yeah, and you hear pitchers talk about how good it feels when the wind is at their back. And for hitters, you almost feel like beyond just the pitcher coming at you, you've got this other force coming against you. So important to try to get on top of the ball in terms of hitting the line drives, you know, maybe really hard ground balls with a good exit velocity that'll get you a base hit because it's very frustrating. You just hit one on the screws, think it's going to go out of the ballpark, and a guy is camped underneath it in front of the warning That's track. Next offering is down low. Two out spaces empty. That one is absolutely belted. Rafaela ranging back. And caught on the warning track. Not quite enough behind that one. Scoreless after one. Second inning set to go. Here's Rafael Devers. Rafael Devers. And he deals. Right through there for a strike. The pitch. That missed by a lot. It's two and two. Eric Summers Gill, our plate umpire. One thing to watch out for, Boog, is what side of the plate Summers Gill might be favoring. He usually sets up at an angle. Pitchers sometimes will try to figure that out early so they can attack that spot and get as many strike calls as possible. Wouldn't chase that time. Singy, what kind of strike zone is most frustrating for hitters? I'd say off the plate, away, and down. And why those are the toughest locations to hit the baseball. 3-2. Line drive, base hit. Man aboard on the leadoff single. Showed some really nice patience in that at bat. Worked himself into a good count. Just a solid swing right there. Caught it out far and ripped it into the outfield for the base hit. Those always feel great. And stepping in for Boston, Rob Ref Snyder. That one misses. Two and one. At the belt and fires. And that clips the inside corner. Second inning here, no score. Next pitch is outside. And that's too high, ball four. Oh, now he's got two runners on after that walk, and things can get out of hand in a hurry in these situations, so he's going to have to find a way to get back into the strike zone. Dom Smith stands in. Battling here as he fouls it away. A little early on that fastball, I'm sure the pitcher taking a note. Look for an off-speed pitch on this next one. Right-hander kicks, deals. Still two and two after the foul ball. And I'm looking. And that is a big first out. A well, big strikeout right there, and maybe a little controversial with the call. I think he got a little bit of favor on the mound, no question about it. It's not exactly what you want to see in a big spot like that, and I'm sure there's some chirping going on from the dugout, making it clear that wasn't his best call behind the plate today. Now it's Jansen to hit, and that one fouled off. Really going after him here, all fastballs to get ahead in the count.
Devers on second. Ref Snyder at first. One gone. Here's the high heat past the That's a strikeout. Definitely made him chase a little bit out of his own right there. I don't think that's a strike if he takes it. Pretty textbook pitching. Get ahead in the count. Get the guy in the box on his heels and then force him to chase your pitch where he doesn't have much of a chance to do any damage. So first and second with two outs. And the batter will be the shortstop. David Hamilton. Two on, two outs. Ball, that's inside. Tough spot right here. A couple runners on. Two ball count. You can't nibble, but you have to execute and finish your pitch. If you leave something out over the plate, it's going to bring in some runs. Righty delivers. No, that's down. Sedane Rafaela waiting for a turn at the plate. The 3-1. High in the air, out to him. And that's the third out. Boston strands a pair. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Bottom of the second. And now here is Salvador Perez. Obviously a guy who makes good contact, hits for average. But one of the things in today's game, the value in the fact that he hits both righties and lefties. Kicks and fires. Slides, but he can't come up with it. Now it's Hunter Renfro. And deals. Pitch ball misses two. there. And yeah, that's ball two. Right back to the mound. Could be an easy two. Fires to second for one. And that's two. Great job on the mound. Fielding his position and second making three. a good throw to second to get the double play started. Far too often we see pitchers have a hard time with that throw, but no issues right there. That's good practice paying off in a game and resulting in two big outs. Michael Massey steps in for the Royals. Went too far that time. It's one and two. And the righty deals. That one ripped right center field. And he one hops the wall. Massey into second, and he's got a double. Man, those are the types of hits where you don't feel any vibration in your hands whatsoever. Such a good feeling. Off the bat, it was headed for the gap all the way. And as a hitter, you love seeing those as you take your first couple of steps out of the box. You know you've got some real estate to run on. and such a good feeling. Nice liner into the gap right there. Runner in scoring position now, and a good opportunity to push across the first run of the ball game. Man in scoring position with two away. Freddie Fermin steps in for the Royals. Third out. Royals lead one. We'll move to the third with no score. Back here in Kansas City. And here's the rookie center fielder, Sidane Rafaela. Rafaela. And now it's one and two. And that skips in the dirt. Two balls, two strikes. Next offering upstairs. Two. 
swing and a ball lifted in the air shallow left field that one gets down for a hit and that turns the lineup over. That's a ball that a lot of times you'll see the shortstop or left fielder be able to get to if it hangs up in the air long enough. But right there, it just died and found a way to drop in on the green stuff for base hit. And now a chance to maybe get creative on offense with good speed on first. Now batting Jaron Duran. Way out front for strike two. But Chris, through the early stages, he hasn't been very efficient in terms of the pitch count. He's going to need to get some quick outs if he's going to get deeper into this game. Left-hand batter waits. And a base hit. Throw back in quickly. First and second now with nobody out. Two consecutive base hits for this team. Nice line drive to the pole side right there, but he didn't spin off of it. That's the key. You still have to extend through the baseball in order to hit a line drive like that. Now here's the Red Sox DH, Willier Abreu. And a pitch. And a count one and two. First and second, no outs. We're here in the top half of inning number three. And he grounds one to the right side. Finds its way through base hit. Here comes the throw. It's off the mark and he scores. And it's one nothing. Big swing of the bat right there to give him the lead. That was clutch. He kind of rolled over on this pitch a little bit, but he got enough behind it to shoot it through for a knock. And we'll take that anytime you can get him to find a hole. Masataka Yoshida up next for the Red Sox. Here comes a pitch. Aye. One ball, two strikes. Swings through that, and it's a strikeout. One gone here. Thought it was a pretty good pitch. Top of the strike zone. We're seeing more fastballs in that location. Hitters, especially with two strikes, have to be ready to pull the trigger. Rafael Devers up to hit. And here comes. Little chopper rolls foul. The last thing he wants is to hit the ball on the ground, but I wouldn't expect many pitches up in the zone. They'll be pitching for a double play in this spot. And Devers hits that one. Gets under it. He's got it. The back. The right here. So first and second with two outs. Rob Ref Snyder, the next to hit. Duran, the lead runner out at second. Abreu at first, two out of the inning. Fouled off. He was late. Finish. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. Two men left stranded, but they do push across one. We move on to the bottom of inning number three. It's the Red Sox one and the Royals nothing. Welcome back to the ballpark. Bottom of the inning. Digging in, it's the speedy outfielder, Garrett Hampson. And that's doubted away. And the pitch. And he walked him. Well, that could be a tone setter for the inning. Four straight pitches and the leadoff batter's on base. We'll see if the next guy waits until there's a called strike before he takes the bat off the shoulder. And now it's Kyle Isbell. And another ball.
kickoff throw, and he's back in easily. The Royals down by a run here in the last half of the third. Swings and lines one towards the gap, and no one can get there. Makes the turn at second, heads for third. Headed for the play. Relay throw. He'll score and they've tied it. It's 1-1. One, one. Big RBI for him right there. I'll tell you. And it's such a good feeling when you smoke a line drive into the gap like that. I mean, sure, home runs are king, but I feel like nothing makes you feel like a true professional hitter more than a bolt the other way. So the lineup flips over. Now here's the leadoff hitter for the Royals. Man at second. That one to first. Nice grab. Gathers and throws. Pretty nice play there. Well, he makes a great decision to go ahead and dive to stop that ball. Nice little flip to the pitcher covering. Those are those PFPs, pitchers fielding plays. Bobby Witt Jr. steps in for the Royals. The pitch. That's in there. And the count, one and two. You know this guy's great speed is in the back of that pitcher's mind. If he can get on, it's going to give him one more thing he's got to think about. One away with a runner at third. And now two and two. Two balls, two strikes. And a swing and a miss. Huge strikeout there. Certainly a strikeout situation right there. The infield playing back, and this pitcher has to step up and get the swing and miss. Really nice job of attacking the hitter at the plate. Pretty big two out at bat coming up now. Vinny Pasquantino steps in for the Royals. The pitch to the right side. Over to Smith inning over and it could have been worse KC gets one on the double all even at one apiece back after this on the show back here at Kauffman Stadium now it's Dominic Smith Worm burner into the outfield for a knock. So a runner aboard to start the inning. The catcher, number nine, Danny Jansen. Danny Jansen to hit here. And a 1-1. One -one. Yeah. And a swing to miss. One ball, two straight. All tied up, top half of inning number four. It's a strikeout. Toughest pitch to hit. Fastball on the outer black. Man, sometimes you just got to tip your cap. And next for the Red Sox, David Hamilton. And a pitch. That's ball two. Two one. up foul territory behind the play for me calls it in and there's two away now that the seventh field sitting Rafaela 
So stepping in for Boston, Sidane Rafaela. Right through there for a strike. A one two count, all he's seen is fastballs. You've got to expect something off speed. Stay back. And he deals. And there's a ball. Smith off of first with two away. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. So they can't do anything with the leadoff single there. On now to the bottom of the fourth. All tied 1-1. Ready to go, bottom four. Now it's the DH, Salvador Perez. And a pitch. And a good eye there. Well, these Royals did a great job, Boog, of just waiting for the right pitch to come their way. And I'm seeing very patient at bats out of him. He's only given up one run, but the starter's pitch count is starting to get up there. And that might be the best news yet for this offense. Popped up to the left, into foul ground. Devers drifts towards it, puts it away for the out. Got the pitch that he wanted, just a little bit quick. Front shoulder open, backside collapsed a little bit, and the launch angle not where he needed it to be. Hunter Renfro at the plate. Base is empty, one away. We're here at the bottom of the fourth. You know, sometimes all it takes is getting to the next arm before an offense does any damage, and that might be the case today. That's to third. Sends it across the first. Already two gone here in the home four. Good arm side run and sink on that pitch right there. Got inside on him and got him to bounce into that out. So up now for Kansas City, Michael Massey. And the right hander deals. And a 2 1 hammered, but foul. Two down, nobody on. Cut on and miss. Struck him out. Royals set down in order. Royals bats are quiet there. Still tied. 1 1. And we're back. Top five, John Shabby with Chris Singleton. And leading it off, Jaron Duran. The pitch. And a foul ball. Here's a one two. Just misses the mark outside the zone. It's a good take. Foul ball, another 2-2 two -two upcoming. <laughs> On the ground to third. Whips it to first. One up, one down. Good sinker low in the zone right there and produced exactly what he was looking for. Ball on the ground, nice ground out. And here is Willier Abreu. One out, base is empty. Swing and a miss as he was out front. This game has been so tight, feels like the next team to score will win it. Hit hard on the ground is short. 
on to first. And the first two set down in the top of the fifth. Now back, left field, Masataka Yoshida. And stepping in for Boston, Masataka Yoshida. Two outs. Next offering popped in the air, right field. No trouble here, puts it away for the out. And that is that. Halfway home, all even, one apiece. Back here in Kansas City, we head to the bottom of the fifth. Here's the catcher, Freddie Fermin. The pitch. Wouldn't well, chase that time. Well, hey, these Royals, right. as this game goes on, have to be more disciplined at the plate. Chasing pitches has been a big part of the story. We've seen it quite a bit today. It's been tough for them to make contact at times, and it just doesn't look like they're seeing it very well as a group. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. Really love the pitch sequence right there. I'm telling you what, pitcher and catcher on the same page right now. Here's Garrett Hampson. One down, base is empty. On the ground, right side, Duran. To first, home half of the fifth inning, moving along, two quick outs. And to the play for Kansas City, Kyle Isbell. Two down, nobody on. Started after it. Appeal to third. No swing. He held up. Carl Dixon with the call there. 2 1 now. Two down. Nobody on. Last half of inning number five. And another ball. And a foul ball. He stays alive. 3-2. Ground ball right side. Smith He's takes down. it himself. Three up, three down, inning over. Nothing doing for the Royals. Score remains tied, 1-1. One, one. And welcome back to the ballpark. All right, we go to the top half of inning number six and it's Rafael Devers in the box that one ripped tattooed and gone he nails one out to right his second homer of this series and that gives him a lead it's 2-1 well that one won't stay below the radar that made a lot of noise Singy, I hope you saw it because it didn't stay in the air for long. No, it didn't, Boo. StatCast telling us 110 miles per hour off the bat, and that's plenty to hit one out if you get enough air under it. As a hitter, you hardly feel the ball when you make contact as solid as he did right there. Manager out of the dugout now, and it looks like we'll see a change on the mound. Seth Lugo won't go any further, and as he heads off, we'll step aside for a minute. Back with the new pitcher after this break. So they turn to the veteran pitcher in this spot, Michael Lorenzen, on for his 20th appearance of the year. Now it's the right fielder, Rob Ref Snyder. Here's a 1 1. That's a bullet, but it goes foul. Always exciting to see a leadoff home run in an inning. Kind of gets the offense fired up, and you start to expect a big inning. Gets a piece and stays alive. And a one two misses to even the count.
chopped out in front of the plate. And that one handled. Gets it to first. Now one gone in the top of the sixth. Dominic Smith up next to the Red Sox. Swing and a miss. Benny really sells the changeup with that arm action. Got it by him for the K. The catcher, number nine. Two outs, Danny. base is empty. Danny Jansen up next for the Red Sox. Ball to strike. The pitch. Two balls, one strike. Late with the swing there. It might be time to choke up a little bit, get that front foot down early, maybe even just spread out. He's really late right now. Next pitch is outside. Two outs. Struck him out swinging. Couldn't hit the fastball at the knees. The Red Sox pick up a run on the homer, and it's now a 2-1 ball game. Of the six. Here's the third baseman, number 11. The wide to kick the pitch. Just off the inside corner. Ball two. The Red Sox with some bullpen action. Nick Pavetta up and throwing. Bernardino warming up as well. The wind of the pitch. Swing and a high fly ball out there towards left field. Calls it in, and there's one away. The batter number seven. Shortstop. Now it's the shortstop, Bobby Witt Jr. We talk about guys with good speed, and definitely he has it. But pushing the offense aside for just a second, Chris, it's the defensive side that I think the speed factors in the most. Well, he gets to balls that get by most people at that position. Just really impressive because there are certain times a ball comes off the bat, automatically that team that hit it thinks that they've got a base hit or they may have extra bases, and he just takes it away. Sharp grounder, that's through for a base hit. So a man aboard now with one away. The first baseman, number nine. And now the first baseman, Vinny Pasquantino. Here's a 1 1. Sliced hard, but foul down the left side. With two strikes, may see some movement over there at first base, trying to stay out of the double play right here. The one two. Tapped in front of the plate. Now the throw to first on the run. Two away. The battle. The designated hitter. And now it's Salvador Perez to the plate. This is what stat nerds like myself might call a high leverage situation. Yeah, but we're not sure what the numbers say, but clearly an at bat that could change the course of this game dramatically. As a pitcher, you know the runner on second is ready to push things with his speed. A base hit is probably going to be a big run, so you really have to execute on the mound. Fouls it off, still one and two. And another ball. With the tying run at second here in the bottom of the sixth. Line drive, base hit. With headed for the plate. He scores to tie it up. It's 2-2. Two -two. Well, there you go. The RBI machine. Another clutch run scoring at bat. Yeah, he's been so good in these situations. Call it clutch if you want, but his resume speaks for itself.
And now Alex Cora is out of the dugout and he will make a move for the bullpen. Brian Bayo out of the game and it's a tie ball game as he heads for the dugout. Back with a new arm after a quick break. And now, so the Red Sox go to the bullpen. Nick seven. Pavetta. And he's got a big time breaking ball to contend with. Uh, hitters going to have to pick it up early if they're going to have any chance. Two outs. Runner on first. Now it's Hunter Renfro. Next offering upstairs. And he hits a ground ball right side. They get the force, and that will end the inning. But the RBI single pushes across a run. 2-2 game. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Welcome back. We're in the seventh. We have a new pitcher on the mound, Sam Long. And he's been racking up strikeouts at a high rate this year, typically at least one an inning, so he'll be tough to get to. Yeah, the batter down. David Hamilton. David Hamilton. The 1 1. Swing and a foul over the screen and back out of play. Kicks and fires. That Two one missed. Two strike. And a pop up right side, foul territory. Catcher tosses the mask, settles under it. He's there, he's got it. One down. That was a good hard fastball with some nice ride up in the zone right there. Hitter looked like he was on it, but I think that velocity at the end just beat him. Instead of a line drive or something hit deep, it's a pop up and an easy out for the defense. The wind of the pitch. That one misses, and that's ball two. Activity in the Kansas City bullpen. Chris Stratton appears to be getting ready. And I'm sure he's feeling some nerves. This would be his major league debut. Ersig getting cranked up as well. That That's one ball, misses. Three. three and one. Three balls, one strike. Sliced hard but foul. Look out. That ball was smoked. Man, I am so relieved that they have this netting down the lines. Just ensure safety for the fans. Last thing is a player you want to look up and see a fan get hit. One down, base is empty. Out towards right center field. This looks like extra bases. The throw into second. And he's into second base with one away as the go-ahead run. High fastball, even a little above the zone, but such a good job of staying tall on the backside, getting that barrel there to meet it just in time. I'll tell you what, it's not easy to do. Now a good opportunity to potentially jump ahead in this game here in the later innings. So the Red Sox lineup turns over. Now it's the second baseman, Jaron Duran. Here's a 2-1. Ground ball right side. And he takes it himself for the out. Not a bad outcome in that spot. The runner moves up to third, and now they have a chance to drive in the go-ahead run. It's not a knock, but at the end of the day, it's a good at bat. Next is the designated hitter, Willier Abreu. Two outs. Swings through that. That split is a pretty nasty pitch. Explodes out of the hand. Looks like a fastball, and the bottom just falls out of it. And now the lefty. And another ball. With the go ahead run at third. Here at the top half of inning number seven. Got him swinging. 
A lot of adrenaline, we can see it right there. And sometimes you just got to let it out. That's an outstanding job of taking that, executing, and getting out of a tough inning. Back here at Kauffman Stadium, here's the second baseman, Michael Massey. The 1 1. That one is upstairs. And another ball. In the air, left field. Under it. And there's one away. Now batting. Catcher. Now the catcher up to hit. Freddie for me. This is a guy who is very highly regarded defensively. Fun to watch him control stuff behind the plate. Good game caller, good at framing, but it's that big arm that really stands out. You come into the game knowing that unless the ball's in the dirt or gets by him, we're probably not going to steal anything today. So that's where you want to get a little more aggressive on your secondary lead and hope that some base hits, some slugs, some home runs can come into play. Run around at first with one gone. Garrett Hampson steps in for the Royals. I can't lose for it. On this count, runner not known for his speed, but I think you got to put him in motion. Try to avoid a double play here, Boo. Right-handed reliever. Fouled off again. And it remains three and two. If you're a base runner, you've got to stay dialed in here. Look for anything in the dirt. Try your best to get in the scoring position. And ball four to a board. Second walk of the game for him, and he's been really patient at the play. The game plan that he's sticking to is just not going outside of what he's looking for up there. First and second, one out. Kyle Isbell steps in for the Royals. Swings and misses, and it's one and two. That's inside. Two walks in the inning already, and he just doesn't seem comfortable out there. Like, he can find the right mechanics and then repeat them. On the ground. Took the extra bases. Runner around third on his way to the plate. One runs in. Another comes in to score. It's 4-2. Such great concentration. Everybody on their feet, knowing that you can come through with a good swing. And there he doesn't try to do too much. New pitcher for the Red Sox, Zach Kelly. Well, good luck against this guy. He's been extremely tough to hit this year. His numbers are excellent. So the Royals batting order turns over. Now the third baseman. Swings through that one out in front that time. One ball, two strikes. Man at second. Got him looking. That's a strikeout just locked him up right there for the second out and that's not bad he's probably going to be thinking about for a little while didn't pull the trigger not how you want to go down in an RBI spot so now you got to hope your teammate behind you can pick you up and now the shortstop Bobby Witt Jr. intentional walk here with two out they set up a force at any base to end the inning the first baseman number nine so two down, Vinny Pasquantino steps in for the Royals. The Royals trying to break this one open here at the bottom of the seventh. That one fouled off. Looking for some insurance. 
or as our friends down in the south would say insurance no matter how you say it and there's a fly ball deep right field tattooed to tater town and gone he made him pay for that one his 14th of the year it's 7-2 Breaking ball on the inside part of the play requires a hitter to stay really square with his mechanics. If you fly open with the front shoulder, there's no way you keep that ball fair. An outstanding job mechanically. He deserves that home run. Base is empty with two away. Here's the Royals' designated hitter, Salvador Perez. There's a strike. to right drop steps heads back on him. makes the grab and that'll end the inning Royals grab three on this homer it's now a 7-2 ball game Major League Baseball is on the show welcome back and a new arm on the mound to start the eighth Chris Stratton well, he's been excellent against left-handed hitters this year, and that's his first test. This looks like a good move to the pin in terms of the matchup. So stepping in for Boston, Masataka Yoshida. Jake's win. Went around. It's a ball and two strikes. Left-hand hitter waits. Got him looking. Not sure about that call. Pitcher might have gotten a friendly strike three. Well, definitely a borderline pitch right there, and he didn't look too convinced as he headed back to the dugout. You know, those are tough ones to let go as a hitter, but with the human umpire calling balls and strikes, it's always going to be on you to protect yourself with two strikes. Devers now. And strike two. One ball, two strikes. Base is empty one away, and we're at the top of the eighth. Breaking ball inside, and it's two and two. Talk about the right guy at the right spot. They really need a rally, and this guy is someone you can believe in to find a way to get on base. And there's the ball. Ripped on the ground a second in plenty oh. of time to first. And Devers is set down. The white fielder, number 30, Rob Refsnyder. Two outs, base is empty. And now the right fielder, Rob Refsnyder. Two down, nobody on. Finish ah. him. Chopped left side. Gathers and throws to first. And it's a 1-2-3 inning. Nothing across here this half. Home half of inning number eight straight ahead. It's the Royals seven and the Red Sox two. Ready for the bottom of the eighth. Now it's the right fielder, Hunter Renfro. Hunter Renfro. And a pitch. Just missed. Fouls one off. Two and two. Righty to the plate. Hammer. Base hit. And the leadoff man aboard. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. Showed a willingness to drive that pitch the opposite way. Didn't get jumpy, didn't try to pull the ball. He let it get deep, took the barrel right to it, and then extended through the swing for the line drive base hit. 
Man at first. Michael Massey digs in now. On the ground right side. Four. Six. Three. And they turn the double play. I think four, six, three double plays like that are way tougher than these guys make it look sometimes because no matter how you do it, the feed from the second baseman is a tough one. That's where footwork really comes into play, but right there, very well done. Two down, nobody on. Here in the bottom half of the eighth inning. Next offering misses, three and two now. Two outs. Swing and a foul ball at the plate. They'll do it again. On the ground to first, Smith. He takes it himself to the bag, and that'll do it. And we're back at the play. Dominic Smith. The first baseman, number two. Dominic Smith. At the belt and fires. Foul ball there. And the righty deals. Pitch misses there. And the count's full. And down on strikes. And a strikeout for the first out here in the ninth. And now it's the catcher for the Red Sox, Danny Jansen. Danny Jansen. One down, base is empty. Right side, Massey. Throws the first in time. Two up, two down. That's what a good sinker is designed to do. Get a guy to roll over a little bit, hit the ball on the ground, kill some worms while you're at it. Last out for the Red Sox in this one. David Hamilton up next for the Red Sox. Left-hand batter waits. Misses off the play. And now three and one. The Royals leading by five here at the top of the ninth. And foul ball. The Red Sox down to their final strike. Right hander kicks deals. Swing and a bouncer. Pasquantino steps on the bag himself. Ball game. When you win five in a row, the confidence just goes to another level. And you start to gain this momentum. And you think that you're never going to lose a game again because things are clicking up and down the lineup. Pitchers are pitching. The team is making the plays defensively. This is the kind of feeling. It's not going to last all season long, but you want to ride it as long as you possibly can. Perhaps push it up to double digits. 7-2 your final here today. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Chambi. Thanks for joining us.